guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monique. So in today's video, since Valentine's Day is fast approaching, I really wanted to do a quick little fun Valentine's Day look. And I was actually inspired by an older picture that I saw on Kylie Jenner's website. I was looking at some of her makeup and her skincare line. And I saw this picture, I'll put it right here, of her wearing the Mary Jo uh, lip kit. And I really like the makeup in this. It's very soft and of course is a very bold lip as well. And I just like how minimalistic it is. I mean, she's got the black winged eyeliner, a little bit of hints of highlighter, and then the bold lip. So I thought I would try and attempt to do this look as a Valentine's Day look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this turns out, stay tuned for the video. So I have it right here. This is, it came in the mail literally yesterday. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come in on time. So I was like, Finally. so let's open it up. So I actually ordered two matte lipsticks. Oh my gosh, this is hard to open. Ooh. So it's not really a pretty box or anything. It's literally just a plain white box. So they're the two here. And I got the Mary Jo K and Bougie. Bougie looks a lot darker than I thought. I thought it was just lighter than this, but I don't know. We're going to swatch it and see what it looks like. Ooh, this is really pretty. So this is what it looks like on my skin. This is the Bougie color. So can you kind of see the difference? This one is a lot brighter and this one just has a hint of, it's just much more rich. So yeah, those are really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna prep my skin. Um, I'm just gonna use the Studio Photo Loving Primer by NYX. And I don't wear foundation. I've said this in a few other videos um, that I, that's just not something that I normally typically do. So I'm gonna be doing this without using any foundation at all. And if you're a foundation lover, then I highly recommend, you know, put your base on first and then do your makeup. All right, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go in with my NYX brow, micro brow pencil in the color Espresso, and I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows. Okay, next, I'm gonna go in with my QO brow, pen, sorry, QO brow focus and brunette. It's like a brow powder. Oh my gosh. I have clips right here that I can be putting in my hair and I brought them for this specific purpose. Let's go and do that. Oh my God, Monique, what's wrong with you? So looking at her picture, it looks like she doesn't, I don't even think she has any eyeshadow on. Maybe it's a very, very neutral eyeshadow. So I guess I can start that. So what I'm gonna do is go in with my Studio Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer. Okay, next is the HD by NYX Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. Next, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep just put that all over my eyes i think i might just go in with a little tiny bit of fenty beauty number five the peach palette and just grab a thin layer of churro, I believe it's called. Sorry, it's all scratched out, so I gotta get another one of these. Okay, very simple. I'm liking this so far. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming her whole, like, she's got her whole face with foundation and under eye concealer, so I think what I'm gonna do is just brighten up my under eyes a little bit. What I do sometimes is I use the same eyeshadow base under my eyes. So I use the HD Studio from NYX and use a thin layer under my eyes. And then I just use translucent powder. So I use a, a little bit of the Medium Deep by Laura Mercier and the Fenty Beauty one in the color Honey, I believe it is. Yes. 
mix the two to just brighten my eye a little bit because I just I don't really like concealer so we're gonna go in with that so if, if you have your own concealer or if you have your own technique just do it the way you normally do it so yeah you really have to blend this in as quickly as possible because it dries so fast so you see how it gives me that thin layer so I just use that. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier. Some of my brushes. And I'll tap this on first. Just like that, just quickly. Because I like the blend of these two colors, the, the Fenty Honey and the Medium Deep. I like the two together. So I've got the Fenty here. This one's a little bit lighter. I think I'm gonna try doing the winged eyeliner. So we'll try to just finish off the eyes. So I'll do the one eye using my NYX, I have so many NYX products, but it's the matte liquid liner in black. Uh, yeah, just black. So I'm gonna do a quick wing liner and hope for the best, because I haven't done a wing liner in a while, so we'll see what happens. I definitely did not get twins Pretty much got sisters because this one's a little bit thicker than this one but I just feel like if I keep adding more I'm gonna mess it up so I'm just gonna leave it for now I think I'm gonna move on to the inner ducts of the corner of the eye so I actually got this in my January boxycharm box and it's the Laura Geller high definition glow luminaire duo kit and it comes in the color shimmer and sparkle so I'll also link that above or below in case you guys are interested in seeing that video so I'm gonna go in on the inner corner of my eye with sparkle. It's a little bit more of a mattified look versus the other one. It's a little bit more shimmery. So I think I'm gonna try going in with that first and seeing how that looks. And if it doesn't give off enough, then I'll go in with the other one. But they're pretty much the same color. Um, one's just a hint darker and has more shimmer in it. Well, this is not coming off. So I'm gonna actually wet this and come back. I'm gonna move on to the blush part. Now her blush, like it looks pinky, but a little bit of red. So I think what I'm gonna do is use, I have my regular pink eyeshadow that I always use. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of like an orangey color to it. So I'm just going to use an eyeshadow to be honest with you. So I'm going to oh, I'm going to go in with Jasper in my Natasha Denona. And it's got like a little bit of like an orangey orangey color. So I think that might work. Let's see. I don't know, guys. Oh yeah, it kind of gives off, it's not as pink. So yeah, see, don't be afraid to mix your eyeshadows with your powder because you may actually get the color that you're looking for. But yeah, that's definitely not as pink, which is what I was hoping to go for. And I'm sorry, the blush I used as well was the ColourPop um, Catch My Vibe. And it's really crusty looking, but it works really good. So I have quite a bit of product left in there. Okay, so let's move on to the next steps here. So she's got quite a bit of highlight on the, like, it looks like a little exclamation point. So I'm gonna do that on my nose. I mean, I really don't like to highlight my nose a whole lot because the girl's got a big nose, so. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna do it anyway, so I'm just gonna use my finger 
and just go in on the tip here. So next, we already did the wing eyeliner, so I think what I'm gonna do is start with the lip next, which is my favorite part. Um, and then after that, I will probably put some lashes on and then we're pretty much done. So let's go in with the lips. Now, I'm gonna go in with the Mary Jo K because that's what she's using in her picture. All right, so we've done the winged eyeliner, we've done the blush, we've done a little bit of highlight. Um, so I guess next is lashes. Now I do have two strip lashes here. I've got the Sephora collection and my Lash Wish collection. Um, I think, I don't know. I'm gonna have to kind of test the two, but I'm gonna throw these on off camera and I'll let you know which one I do use. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I put some lashes on and I got rid of those clips and I think it turned out really good. I really like this look. I like how just simple it is. It's not so, especially if you're going to have a bold lip, it's nice to have something that's not too overwhelming on the eyes in my opinion. So this look was fairly pretty easy to do, especially because from seeing the picture, it didn't seem like she really had any eyeshadow on. It either looked like just something that was kind of more on her skin tone if she did do an eyeshadow um, but yeah so I did use my lash wish and it's the La La Land one I'm not even sure if these guys are still around I think they are um, but it's the 3d faux mink eyelashes and I love these I've had these for quite some time now I very rarely wear um, eyelashes to be honest I normally just wear my mascara and go but yeah, these ones are very, very lightweight. They're very nice and they really definitely dramatize the look a lot more. So what do you guys think of this Valentine's Day look with nowhere to go? <laughs> I really like it. It's really pretty. I love the lip color. It's so pretty. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I did an okay job. I mean, I'm not a makeup guru. I kind of just experiment with makeup and I like to try different things. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this video, what you guys are up to for Valentine's Day, if you're doing anything or it's just going to be just another day, which I kind of feel like it is. I mean, love should be celebrated every single day. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested. Hit the bell notification and like the video as well. And if you guys want to see what I'm up to on my Instagram, my Instagram name is Monique H underscore yt which i'll put on the screen right here and yeah so i hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys bye